Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and today I want to talk about a story that just happened yesterday. This is a local hero story, it's a good guy with a gun story, where three armed civilians here in Las Vegas came to the aid of a female police officer who was stabbed with a screwdriver and saved her life. So let's talk about it. This channel is proud to be supported by the Firearms Policy Coalition. Make sure you check that link in the description box, become a member, and donate when you can. Because these guys are no compromise, they're going to be on the front lines of fighting for our Second Amendment rights, and they need our help. So again, check that link to the Firearms Policy Coalition. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this story now. Try and keep in mind that this whole incident happened less than 24 hours ago at the time I'm making this video, so we don't have that much information about the suspect. I will roll in some footage uh, from our local Fox 5 News, and that'll hopefully fill in some of the gaps. But this whole thing went down at Range 702, probably the worst place you can imagine to commit a crime. But Range 702 is an extremely popular range. It's popular because it's located very close to the Strip. They have a lot of cool things that you can rent over there. A lot of stuff that's restricted in other states are just so expensive that most people can't own it. So when people fly in, they stay at the hotels, it's easy to drive one or two miles to Range 702, just be able to rent something that you've always wanted to try and then head back to your hotel. So again, it's a very popular range. It's also very nice, well lit, it's clean. And what happened was a guy went in, the guy started kind of you know walking around and messing with other people's stuff. Uh, well, the staff didn't like that very much. So after this guy started you know messing with everybody's stuff, they asked him to leave. Now, I'm not sure what happened between the moment they asked him to leave and the moment he actually left, but they asked him to leave and he went out into the parking lot. He was then followed by three armed civilians. These civilians went out to the parking lot and waited for police to show up because the people, the staff at Range 702 had called law enforcement. So these guys went out there while he was in the parking lot and then law enforcement showed up. Law enforcement started to question the guy about what he was doing there, what he was doing messing with other people's things. Obviously, you know, he wasn't there for the purpose of using the range, so they started to question him. That's when everything went down. So apparently the female officer that was questioning this man was standing in pretty close proximity. He was able to pull out a screwdriver and proceeded to stab the officer. That's when the three armed citizens and the uh, female officer's backup proceeded to engage with that suspect and everybody, I'm talking all three civilians and the backup officer were putting rounds on this guy and took him out and that was it. He was gone on scene. So the female officer was then taken to the hospital and the last reports that I heard were early this morning that she's stable, she's gonna be okay, but she did take multiple stab wounds, stab wounds, excuse me, from a screwdriver. Uh, as they attempted um, to, to have more verbal contact with him, he pulled out a screwdriver and violently attacked one of our officers. Police say that man was messing with some items that didn't belong to him inside Range 702 and was asked to leave. Police say several citizens inside the business followed him into the parking lot and waited for Metro Police. Police say officers made contact with the man, asked him to come to the squad car. Police say he refused and attacked a female officer. At that time, three citizens as well as her partner officer fired multiple rounds striking the subject. Now, I can't imagine what it must have been like for these three civilians. I mean, imagine taking action that quick from a resting position. And what I mean by that is, you're talking about three civilians just going about their day. I don't know if they were patrons or if they worked at Range 702, but they're just going about their day until they have to deal with that guy. Nobody wants to deal with that guy. But still, they got to take this guy outside, and they decide to stay with him until law enforcement shows up. So their adrenaline's probably high. They are, you know, personally involved in the situation at this point. But then law enforcement shows up. Law enforcement you know, assumes responsibility of the situation and takes the liability off your hands. So when law enforcement shows up, you tend to relax. You know, you take a step back and now you're just a spectator. You're just observing what is happening at this point. And you're probably just waiting to answer questions from the cops when they come up to talk to you. So you tend to become more relaxed at that point. Then this guy pulls out a screwdriver, goes after that female cop, and apparently these people took action immediately. That means that they went from that resting position to immediately taking action in just moments. And when it comes to things like a screwdriver, moments really do matter. Imagine had those three civilians not been there, it maybe was just a backup, and it took backup maybe an extra three seconds to engage that suspect. Well, how many times can you do this in three seconds? Probably a lot, right? 
So if those civilians were not there, we could be talking about a totally different story right now. So instead of that uh, officer being in recovery, we could be talking about the exact opposite. So the fact that these people took the responsibility in their hands to engage that suspect quickly could have been the difference in the, in the story that we're talking about today. It's also one of the reasons why I promote USCCA so much on this channel, you know, and I tell you guys to go click that link, it's the most important link, is because you never know when you're just going about your day, you think nothing's gonna happen. Nobody's stupid enough to try anything in a range, right? That's kind of what you think, that's what your mindset is. Nobody's dumb enough to do something at a range, and guess what? Now your life has been changed because somebody did decide to do something at a range. So again, that's you know another reason why I promote them, but imagine being these three civilians who, again, go from that kind of resting the police are here, we can kick back now, to immediately engaging that suspect. And that's why I think they're heroes. It shows you that, A, they were either trained, okay, professionally trained people who were able to react in a split second, you know, and put rounds on target, or they were just responsible people who took it upon themselves to get better at protecting themselves, and this is a result of that. This is a result of knowing what you're doing, knowing how to put rounds on target, how to draw fast, how to quickly acquire a target, and so forth. All of those things came into play right there, and, uh, you know, hats off to those people who took action in a very intense situation. Now, another interesting tidbit about this story is, is something that actually made me and my wife look at each other because, you know, we moved here from California uh, a couple years ago, and this is not something that you would hear from law enforcement back in California, but the spokesperson for the Las Vegas Police Department was talking about the incident, and she stopped and she wanted to thank the civilians who took action uh, against this person. So she actually says, and I'll roll in some video, that she wanted to thank the armed civilians that helped save this person's life. I would just like to take a moment to remind everyone the dangers of this job, of being a police officer, and uh, we would also like to thank good citizens that step in and help us in our time of need. So I thought it was pretty cool that she thanked the armed civilians that helped out in this case. Uh, they didn't have to help out. It wasn't their responsibility to help out, but it's our responsibility to take care of each other when you see somebody in need. You know, it's, it's one of those situations where you're taking on responsibility and liability and, you know, a lot of things could happen after the fact. So the fact that these three jumped in and decided to help, I think is fantastic. And, you know, it's just, that's humanity. That's the best of humanity right there. When in need, we are there for each other. So I thought that was a pretty cool story. I wanted to share it with you here. I don't know, local Las Vegas story, but another good guy with a gun story that I think should be shared. A defensive story where something was used to save somebody's life. And uh, those are the stories that need to be out there, not all the negativity that we're just constantly seeing or made up stories to try and make the other side look better. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.